Welcome to the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds, and in this episode, you'll be coming with me live as I shoot a real wedding with a real bride and groom and a real ceremony. I'll be using Godox lighting to shoot family groups, bride and groom portraits, and reception lighting from dinner to dancing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Godox channel for more tutorials to come. And as always, watch to the end. Today we are following behind the scenes of a full wedding day at Isola del Garda in Italy and the Grand Hotel Gardone. As a working destination wedding photographer, my style is predominantly natural light and in fact the first part of the day I'm working in natural light in a very unobtrusive manner. I try not to be invasive at all, more like a fly on the wall and rarely, if ever, intervene to halt proceedings to take pictures during this part of the day. The church ceremony is also all natural light. I don't want any flashes firing to disturb the religious proceedings. After the ceremony, we jump into a Riva boat to head to the private island for an afternoon reception and couple shots. On the island is a Venetian neo-Gothic style villa built in the 19th century with a centuries old park and spectacular gardens. I'm shooting alone all day with no second shooter, so I need to be able to carry all my equipment myself and that means traveling light. This is where my trusty AD300 Pro really starts to shine with the perfect blend of portability and power. Because I've been shooting with natural light up until this point, I want the portraits to look as if they are also naturally lit but with just a pop of light to make the couple stand out from the incredible background of the venue. The AD S65W softbox is incredibly fast and easy to pop up and is a manageable size to carry with me back and forth on the boat. My goal is for all my pictures from the day to blend in with the natural light shot so there is a consistent look in the wedding album. For that reason, I often use high-speed sync which gives me more freedom in my choice of aperture and depth of field. And I'm carefully balancing the ambient light with the flash power to ensure a harmonious blend of the two. The island's famous covered terrace, or loggia, is a really popular spot for portraits and group shots, but it has one of the most tricky lighting situations to deal with, with lots of backlight coming from behind the subjects and barely any light at all under the loggia. Without flash, if I expose for the sky, the couple are in total darkness. The AD300 Pro allows me to create a soft, three-dimensional light on the couple that is flattering and shows off both the lodger interior as well as the lake and skies behind. Time is really tight for the bride and groom portraits. I have a total of 30 minutes before the guests arrive, so being able to set up quickly is vital. In between natural light candids at the reception, I set up for some family and friends group shots. Feathering the light across the subjects is key to ensuring that the entire group is evenly lit, even with a relatively small softbox.
Keeping the energy up on such a long, exhausting day is really important, so being able to carry all my equipment with me without assistance is a primary factor when it comes to choosing my lighting equipment for wedding photography. Back at the hotel, the couple have arranged for a beautiful flower installation for a creative and elegant photo booth setup. Then, at sunset, the most incredible sky appears from seemingly nowhere and we only have a few minutes to catch it. Here is the shot without flash. And here is the same shot less than one minute later with the AD300 Pro. When it's time for dancing, my go-to setup is three lights on stands in corners of the room set as high as possible and pointing downwards into the center of the room. I have two AD200 with round head attachments and one AD100 Pro. The diffuser domes help spread the light so it bounces off the white ceilings, ensuring an evenly lit yet three-dimensional effect as all the flashes are off camera. I can capture any of the action on the dance floor from any angle and the height of the lights helps to avoid shadows being cast across faces. I use the constant modeling light of the AD300 Pro to give me some dimension shooting the cake details, as well as some fill light for the sparkler exit and fireworks. Hopefully the techniques used during our wedding today will inspire you to create using Godox's vast range of photography products. Godox offers a one-stop solution for all your photography needs from lights to modifiers to stands and more. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Godox Photography Lighting Academy. I'm Sarah Edmonds and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep creating with light.